on tonight's episode of What Did I Get Myself Into, we're going to be putting together the steering shaft and do our best to get this project turned in the right direction. Here are the parts we're going to be using for today's portion of the project. In the back of the picture here, you see this shaft here. That is the factory steering shaft. It includes an aluminum universal joint on this end. In the center, there is a slip joint, and then this spline in here goes into this universal joint, which originally attached directly to the rack and pinion. Now, I'm going to add this piece here, which is just another piece of shaft similar to that, and a second universal joint. But the key to making all this work today is going to be these two parts right here. They're called hem joints, but I'm going to be real with you. Make up your own opinion, but I think they look more like her joints. Here is just a rough setup I did just to kind of show you how these hem joints are going to make this possible. We have not one, two, but three universal joints in the design we're going to have on this steering shaft. So if we just connected all three of those shafts with no support, you turn the wheel, the shaft would just flop around like, like a snake. Ugh. Maybe we need to find something better to compare that to. Let's say one of those wacky, wavy, inflatable arm guys. All right, so what we do... We put these hem joints in here and secure them firmly to the vehicle in between those universal joints and it acts as a way to stiffen the rotational force and make sure it all is directed all the way through the shaft to the rack and pinion itself. Let's take a moment to talk about racks, more specifically Miata racks. Now I know what you're thinking, you got a depowered rack, you need to get a manual rack, that's the only right way to do it. But thing is the other half of you guys are going to say hey. That depowered rack handles way better than a manual rack because it's got a better ratio. So it's really kind of a 50-50 split on what people thought about depowering one of these racks. So when I looked at the price of buying a manual rack versus the price of unplugging a rack, it was a no-brainer decision for this project. So now that we've gone over what we're going to use to make this work, let's see if we can actually make it work. Man, those are nice leather seats. Let's crawl all over them and sweat like a pig. So what we've got to do is we need to get under here and reinstall that shaft right there, put the bolt in it and get it through that firewall. Problem is I got to do this probably three or four times before we're going to have this thing finished. So let's get at it. I don't know if you guys just caught that, but I just want to point out that as you can see, I only use the most accurate cutting methods when I'm fabricating steering shafts. skinny coat. It's just not a coat, it's a Miata. Alright guys, I'm a bit defeated tonight. I really thought I was going to be able to get this done in one afternoon, but Looks like the Miata and the Miata gods and all those people that consider what I'm doing blasphemy are going to win the night. Uh, I'll try to show you as best I can. I doubt I can get the camera in there. There's a hole in the firewall where the steering shaft comes through. Let's see if I can get it to focus there. That hole does not go over far enough close to the frame rail where I'm actually trying to run the steering shaft down the frame rail before I make the turn to go down the rack and pinion. That's my plan to get around the exhaust and the engine mounts and everything else. So without being able to get that first angle, the whole thing's going to fall apart. So uh, what I'm going to have to do is pull the engine out. So guys, looks like that's going to be it for the night. We're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, next video, we're going to get this engine out of this cradle, and we're going to give this car the shaft. You can count on that. So I believe I can get it finished in one more afternoon. Everything's there. It's just a matter of putting it in place. 
but uh, the engine's going to slow us down a bit. But it's going to be so much easier to get access to what we got to do with the engine out of the way now that I know where I need to put my angles. So uh, that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe.